they break my bones and words, etc. Their first actions were words. You dirty Jew, you don't belong here, and all that. And then the sticks and stones came later. They physically beat us up. We had to run home many a day. So that was unpleasant. That's anti-Semitism at work. Uh, my parents were also affected by this anti-Semitism. My dad owned a shoe store, which he opened up after World War I. He had served in the Kaiser's army, had even been given a, an Iron Cross, um, although there were many given. It wasn't that unusual a, a feat, but bravery on the battlefield type of thing. He then moved to Speyer from Schifferstadt and opened up a shoe store, then married. They married in 1925. And he had a fairly decent business going. They opened up a second shoe store in his own hometown, which his brother ran. But all of a sudden, life changed for them also where pickets were thrown up in front of his business to keep customers from going in, wearing the big swastika on their armbands. And they wrote slogans on the windows of his store, Jew go to Palestine, dirty Jew, all kinds of things. So his business began to fall off. All this time, I'm still pretty much not knowing what was going on. But the town changed. There were parades all the time where they were showing off their tanks and their guns and their army. They marched right down the street. His store was on the main street, Maximilianstrasse. And we lived in the, in the same building. My dad owned that building. It was a beautiful building. It still stands today. There were three stores on the main floor, and then there were two floor, three, three floors of apartments. And we lived in one of those. Um, big, beautiful building. Big, beautiful apartments. And when the, this marching occurred, the whole town came out. The Nazi salute was all over Sieg Heil. And we were not allowed to do that. I, as a kid, of course, wanted to do it, and I did. And I